Myth number seven, <laughs> to be spiritually evolved, it mm. is important for us to experience oneness. Well, you know, I, there, there's a lot of oneness talk out there. And I'll, I suspect that probably 99.99% of the people who talk about, well, we're, we're all one, really, only know it in theory, right? And it's kind of like, it's sort of the, the top-down version, kind of like the old-fashioned, you know, religious you know, like, okay, well, well, you know, we're the religious authority and we're telling you how it is. I think that people can understand it in theory or they really want to believe it but haven't fully experienced it. And you know what? We come in here as separate beings. We come from that place of oneness, that blissful connection where we are everything and everyone and they yeah. are us and it's perfect. And we choose to get into this separateness so that we can experience the limitation. And yes, we may, on our spiritual journey, actually have a moment, maybe more than a few moments, of experiencing that full connection to everything. But that's not exactly why we're here so much. It's about these lessons that we learn within the context of this imagined separation. So I don't believe that it's, it's kind of like you, you have to have experienced yeah. that or you have to be experiencing that on a regular basis in order to be spiritual. Money isn't spiritual. <laughs> and I know I'm probably stepping on some politically correct toes right now. You know, it's funny because, you know, there's that expression out there that's that's often misquoted. Money is the root of all evil. Yeah. When, in fact, the expression is the love of money is the root of all evil. When you when you think about what money is, money is a concrete physical manifestation of energy. And we have energy flowing through us. We have energy flowing between us. It's basically saying, okay, well, I've, I've put in this energy to receive this, these bills here or credit card, whatever, you know, and I am transferring that energy over to you to give something, get something in return. It is actually a representation of flow. And I tell you that there's so many people who have judgment about money and they're the very people who are stuck, who really want to do something like, you know, move forward in their spiritual practice yeah. by giving to others through healing, by giving to others through music, whatever it is they want to do, but they can't do it because they can't make enough money at it, but, but they've got all this judgment about money. Really, if you accept it as this natural flow of energy that is our birthright to receive that flow and to move it on to somebody else, then it is actually holy. Yes, it can in the wrong hands, it can be um, used to control and to manipulate the world and... Yet, if we open to this birthright of the natural abundance of the universe, then we in turn can have more money mm -hmm. to help shift the world and keep those people who want to use money in the wrong way from having power, too much power in the world. Spiritual myth number nine, and boy, this is going to tick some people off. There are no differences between men and women in how they experience spirituality. Well, you know... I really couldn't tell you because I don't remember my past lives clearly enough to, to, to be able to tell male versus female. But this is what scientists are starting to discover. The brains of men and women are different in terms of how much the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain talk to each other. So if we experience spirituality and, you know, those, those downloads that flow from the right side of the brain and we somehow need to communicate it with the left side of the brain, if we have more connectors between the two sides of the brain as as females we've got more of those it may be easier for us to actually you know in the moment allow that flow to come in get the in intuition get that spiritual flow incorporated moment to moment in our daily lives however with men there are fewer of those connections so it may actually be more beneficial to males to to spend more time with things like meditation and retreat mm -hmm so that they can actually get to that place of opening and really paying attention to the connections. And you can create more connections, too. But it can, connections between that side of the brain and the other side of the brain. But the thing is, the, the point is, we actually have the sense of, oh, well, spirituality should be the same for everybody. But we incarnate into different genders. We, can, we incarnate into different cultures. We incarnate into different religions, different bodies. Our experience is going to be unique, and so we should stop comparing ourselves, or, or actually, even worse than that, you know, we should, we should, you know, is is sort of saying this is the way because it works for me. Um, it should be more about accepting that there are differences.